stopped using birth control about two years ago at the same time I started eating papaya. And so here's what she's getting at. Even though it's not a birth control, here's why it's still labeled as a mild contraceptive. The hormone that's essential for pregnancy is progesterone, and papaya attacks that. But I will say it has a lot more uses than just that. So the juice alone acts as a help to digest protein. If you notice a lot of people that's on a very slimming diet and how they drop a lot of fat and weight in general, they consume high levels of papaya. But more important, it targets wheat gluten. And that's something that you see running rampant in the States right now. And you didn't hear this from me, but if you gassy and you eat some papaya, something gonna happen. I just want y'all to tag me when it happens when y'all do it and just, just know I warned y'all. It's quite funny actually. But here's a popular combination for people that have digestive disorders. This can definitely help you out. It's about 100 milligrams of charcoal, 60 milligrams of slippery um, elm powder, and 10 milligrams of golden seal. Now, whether you want to use the tablets or capsule formula, that's up to you, but follow that formula and watch how it helps you out. Hebrews 12 and 11 states that no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So take that and run with it. Be very consistent in the discipline of yourself. The ultimate contraceptive is abstinence. You can wait. It ain't that serious. But all in all, your health is important. Take the time to keep yourself highly, highly, highly nourished and make sure that you're uh, hydrated. Make sure that you're eating things that's whole foods and that's really, really good in nutrition. But I hope this helped you out, friend. God bless.